60 channel presents I May Destroy You is a series in the dark comedy genre that deals with very important social and personal issues that many of us have probably experienced. Michaela Cole is an English actress, writer, director, producer and of course a very capable singer. He started his professional career in 2013 and became famous in 2015 by making a sitcom series called Chewing Gum. She managed to receive the award for the best actress in a comedy at the BAFTA ceremony. A year after the series ended, Cowell spoke at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival during a speech that she had been sexually assaulted while writing the script for the sitcom. This unfortunate event, instead of keeping her away from television and cinema forever, made it a huge launchpad for her. Hello, welcome to the Trixie channel. Here we want to watch a lot of interesting videos about cinema and the world of movies together and review the movie I may destroy you. We will be more than happy if you like our video and follow our channel by pressing the bell button so that all our new videos will be shared with you. Maybe the movie I May Destroy You was the most critically acclaimed TV series of 2020. More than 30 critics and experts in this industry put the series I May Destroy You in the first place in their list of the best series of 2020. The New York Times magazines also described it as a perfect series for a troubled world. This series of psychological dramas won the award for the best miniseries, the best drama director, the best drama writer, and the best actress at the BAFTA ceremony. One of the things that is very attractive about this series, and it works well, is that it doesn't try to make its characters perfect. Almost none of the characters in this series are completely white or completely black. Even the main characters themselves have their weaknesses and strengths. So the audience sometimes gives them the right and sometimes complains about their behavior. The story of I May Destroy You series revolves around Arabella more than anything else. A very popular young Twitter writer who turns into a novelist in her late 20s. With the publication of her first book, Chronicles of a Fed Up Millennial, she achieved a lot of fame and is generally known in actresses as a millennial icon. Arabella struggles with many issues while writing her second book. Because on one hand, there is not much time left until the delivery of the draft of the book, and on the other hand, it seems that she has suffered a creative and writing obstacle because she cannot write a new text for her book in any way. Meanwhile, her friends are constantly tempting her with the parties and fun. In the same way, she decides to take a break from her desk and have some of her friends over and have fun with them. With the times of seeing a psychotherapist after trauma, the functioning of the mind and memory after a major shock, wrong methods while coping with psychological trauma, the very high importance of reporting similar events to the police, and more importantly, rising the level of information and awareness of people's privacy, are just some of the issues that are discussed in this series. Of course, in addition to all these issues that are considered as personal issues, themes with social aspects are displayed throughout the story so that the right and wrong of each of them can be checked and the audience can reach a correct conclusion. So which movie sequence do you think is the most impressive part? Who is your favorite actor or actress in this movie? Or tell me, have you ever watched this movie? If you haven't, 
go and see it. We will be happy if you share your comments below with us. Until the next video from Trixie Channel. Trixie Channel